Jess is gonna bring you numbers. Jess with the mess I need to clear on the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stock. So earlier in front page news, Tesla Figaro had reported that the U.S. House of Representatives passed the bill that will lead to a nationwide ban on TikTok. Um, but what she did not get into um, is what the um, U.S. also not trying to get into as well. So TikTok parent company is allegedly a Chinese technology firm called Byte Dance. That's what it's called, right? Byte Dance? And, yeah, Byte Dance. Mm-hmm. All right. So the owner, they America is just like, of course, they don't like China or mm-hmm. whatever, right? So they're just trying to blame it solely on China. But the CEO of TikTok and the owner of Byte Dance is a Singaporean businessman, right? His name is Shuzi Chu. Okay, and he's been interrogated by um, the U.S. Mm-hmm. And he he said he has no affiliates. Like, he's he's not affiliated with the Chinese at all. And uh, he's married to an American woman. And he served two years in the military, right? And uh, he's been heavily interrogated. And he also had said this. Hi everyone, it's Sho here. Just wanted to share some thoughts with our US users about the disappointing vote in the House of Representatives. Over the last few years, we have invested to keep your data safe and our platform free from outside manipulation. This legislation, if signed into law, will lead to a ban of TikTok in the United States. It will also take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. It will put more than 300,000 American jobs at risk and it will take away your TikTok. We will continue to do all we can, including exercising our legal rights to protect this amazing platform that we have built with you. I encourage you to keep sharing your stories, protect your constitutional rights, make your voices heard. Love you all. So that's the owner? Yep, that is the owner. So he's not a so it's not a a Chinese. He is not a Chinese guy. He is a Singaporean businessman who served Mm -hmm. two years in the military. And he's I don't know why he, you know, he is married to an American woman, but Mm -hmm. they don't care about that. But the whole thing is, yeah, he's Singapore's in Asia. Okay. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying it's it's, it's in Asia. It's It's in Asia. Is it in China? No. No. Okay. So yeah, basically that's what he's saying. And then also if the ban goes into effect, right? If if let's say somebody from the US that they approve of does buy it, mm-hmm. okay, the current users account, the current users accounts will still be active but won't be able to upload or update. And you know, we need those updates with these um social media platforms and no new users will be accepted and the app will not be downloadable. So they really trying to put a lock on this. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. So that, that's the whole point of, you know. And then they're trying to con- in control our info intake. I mean, we learning too much. And America's prejudice. But we're definitely <laughs> trying. We, yeah. But they, they don't like how much information is being released. That's the whole point, too. That's. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Uh, because if they say TikTok is a national security threat, and you see all these other countries who have banned TikTok, then clearly the powers that be know more about what's going on than we do. And it's, China blocks all our social media platforms as well. So yeah, but listen. Also, Y'all we just made the social dancing. media like that. No, it's like, other, it's other stuff on. It's all types of rabbit holes that you would probably get lost in on TikTok. It's some stuff, stuff about you true. on there. Yeah, all types that, of rabbit holes. And it's but it's a lot of misinformation too. It is. But, but that's yeah. all. That's but every it's a lot of misinformation on Google. It's a lot of that's misinformation on Facebook, on Snapchat, on Instagram, you know Instagram, on X, all over absolutely. the place. So if we're gonna argue one, argue all. That's what I'm I think it's, it's, just I think it's a national that. security. That, that, that's what they're saying. The lawmakers are saying it's a national security threat. Aww. I just know that these people know more about this this stuff. But than if we that's know. the case, hasn't it always been a national security problem for the last what? How long has it been but around? They've been trying to shut it years. down. This ain't new. Okay. This, this is not new. But if it's a national <laughs> security threat, they would have shut it down immediately. If it's a, if it's that much of a threat. Yeah, if if it is. Right, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, and then it's also the China of it all, okay? Mm-hmm. The China, as Trump would say. So, <laughs> Airbnb bans use of indoor cameras. Uh, this week, Airbnb announced that they are prohibiting the use of indoor ca- uh, security cameras in vacation homes globally. Now, this speaks volumes to me because I'm a person that when I travel, I do my shows and all right. that type of stuff. I do typically rent nice Airbnbs. I don't like the little whole little hotel thing no more. Mm-hmm. Um, the decision comes after multiple reports of Airbnbs having hidden cameras in the hallways, in the living rooms, the dining rooms, and in the kitchens. Mm-hmm. Um, Airbnbs previously uh, allowed these indoor cameras in common areas of homes as long as the hosts share where the cameras are on the Airbnb, li- Airbnb listings. But I've rented an Airbnb before and, and it wasn't even 
on the website that they had a camera in the hallway, like when you come through the door and it showed like the living room and the hallway leading down mm -hmm. to uh, the kitchen. So they don't always put it on the listings or whatever, but um, the outdoor cameras will also be limited. Now I understand these uh, owners of their property, they, they want to keep an eye on their um, properties or whatever. You know, to make yeah, so, of course. Yeah. But inside the home is just a little too much. Well, I get, well, yeah, I understand. But I guess people do that because, you know, somebody might say, I only want, and I don't know, I never stayed at an Airbnb, but mm -hmm. I, I guess it'd be like, I, you can only have five people in the house, or there's no yeah. parties, or there's no this, and the so only way that proof. they can really see is mm -hmm. through the cameras, or yeah, somebody's effing up their property. But you keep one property. by the door. You keep one by each yeah. door, because you can't get in the house through the roof. Privacy is very important, because if you rent an Airbnb, yeah. you want to move around the Airbnb like you at home. So you you, you, you want to walk lesson. naked. You but might if wanna... somebody's effing up your Airbnb, Airbnb, you want to be able to see that too and prove that they really messed up your Airbnb as well. Because it's only in common areas. It's not like it's not in the bedrooms, it's not in the bathrooms, it's the living room. Well, the same could be said for hotels. Then. Yeah, I was going to say that's the risk you take when you do stuff <laughs> you like that. You wouldn't stay in no hotel, they you got know? cameras all in the bedrooms and everything. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so the new policy goes in effect on April 30th, y'all. So for people like me, that's wonderful. See, Envy don't, he don't rent Airbnbs. So no. he don't know. He, and you got cameras all over your house, but that's your family. You know each and every person in your house. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I got cameras I, in my but, house. But I don't do Airbnb because I don't, I don't feel like it's safe enough. Yeah. You know, hotel, you got to go through the lobby. You got to get in the elevator. Yeah. Then you got to find the door. That's three, you know, three things of mm -hmm. safety. Yeah. Airbnb, I just kick down your door. I got you. Yeah. So you just don't. So what type of housing do you like? It's like I'm doing. All right, that's just for the mess. <laughs> that's just for the mess for the second hour, y'all. Because he played oh, me all air. Goodness. But all right. All right, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Who you give me a donkey to, man? <laughs> Hold on, let me finish Kiki in. Okay. Boy, after the hour. <laughs> Boy, after the hour, we need Alexis Harnett to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with her, please. All right, okay? we'll get to it next. And then after that is Jess Fix My Mess. 800 585 1051. If you need relationship advice or any type of advice, get on the phone lines right now and Jess will help you out. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.